let's get started to the vector rise my friend just waiting here guys for some of you joining her us today grab your, your water right now keep yourself hydrated okay because <laughs> we're gonna do a very awesome lesson let me know if you guys can hear me well i'm gonna start just in a few seconds all right just to update the live streaming meanwhile let me just tell to to the club on the the shot vectorized club starting now guys we are on live okay let me know the shot if everything is working in your side guys please so we're gonna get started okay Okay, let's get started. Cool. My friend, welcome to the Vectorize channel. My name is Jonathan and I'm here to teach you everything related to the graph world, you know, the industry of character design, game art, everything that you need to, to do your stuff. That, let's say, you want to learn how to create designs, you are in the right place. Because here we use Affinity Design and you can use digital art alongside with vector techniques to build everything that you want really if you want to do for printies you are totally free right so uh today i want to you know focus with you about drawing right uh because i think it's very important uh to build a great foundations of drawings and i want to bring here a continuation of the past tutorial but this time I want to focus more in the visual development and show you uh, nice techniques and how you can develop nice, uh, let's say, designs as well. Okay, I'm gonna do this in my art style. Let's say if you saw this image posted on my Instagram, perhaps you have already saw this. Let me just open the screen. Okay, this is my iPad screen. Yeah, guys, this is vectorized, my friend. <laughs> it's not vectorized, it's, it is vectorized, my friend, because here we help everybody to learn how to, to vector. So uh, I did this sketch, as you guys can see. Um, I was studying and uh, I wanted to bring, you know, my tips if I were start, starting today. And of course, uh, I want to give you a very beginner lesson for, for you that wants to see how the process works okay and uh, before we start officially here I wanna just show you what's uh, happen happening here right now so here my screen the vectorized club where you can join and have access to all these tutorials including the recent live stream that we did so far and just to update you that all these tutorials that you are, you are seeing here on my screen it's not available on the YouTube, cha uh, YouTube channel here anymore now you guys can access uh, the full version over here, all right? So you can keep watching everything and and have access to everything else, okay? So there's a quick introduction about what you can learn with Vectorize. We, we go direct to the point about learning and that's it, okay? So uh, back on here, let me just... Ah, before I start, let me show you what I've been doing. I've been studying Blender <laughs> recently. Uh, it's It's been uh, one week, you know, focusing more in Blender, uh, learning how to use the app. It's kind of tricky, but after you, let's say, learn, it's become easier, so I'm, I'm still learning, and I'm enjoying a lot. Uh, why I'm in learning, if you ask me if I am a 2D artist, uh, I like to increase my skill set, my knowledge, and I'm learning, you know, from a lot of tutorials, here from Brazil, or from the internet, and everything else. And yeah, I, I'm enjoy enjoying a lot. Uh, I'm still, you know, uh, produ pr producing uh, these images and also learning with alongside with the instructors. And I'm building my own workflow. You know, I like to to feel comfortable to do my own stuffs. Yeah, uh, perhaps someday when I get more professional on this, I I can bring some tutorials on Blender. But I'm <laughs> I'm I will be humble with you. Um, I'm not good uh, yet, but I hope. Soon I'm gonna be good. <laughs> I'm, I'll work on that. So perhaps in the future I can share with you my knowledge. Okay. Hello Ariadna, welcome my friend. Uh, yeah. 
So guys, this is my screen, uh, as you guys can see now, I am on iPad. Uh, one thing that is important, of course, it is to get the references. The reference that I have here, it is this guy. <laughs> but please feel free to get uh, any reference that you want. Um, yeah, it's it's in your side on there to grab the references. And this is just a nice example, right? That you can follow and study the, his structure, his head structure, right? And yeah, so one point that I want to bring here before we start, um, it is to set up your screen, all right? In that case, I'm gonna use uh, Raster Persona. Raster Persona, it is the mode that you, you use to draw, and uh, you, you use the brushes in Raster that it is 100% freedom to, to draw. So you need to create a pixel layer and then you can draw like I'm doing. So it's different from vector, the first point that you need to see, okay? And let's suppose that uh, you want to improve more your drawing skills. I always suggest you to think in forms. Let's say you are drawing a square, okay? So think uh, always in forms and try to come up with, with the sides of the plane. So you are creating, let's say, this cube, okay? Uh, one advice is try always to think in forms, okay? Let me just type here. Oh. Think in forms. Why I'm telling you this? Because if we open this reference here, you need to consider that once you give forms to your, let's say, character or something else, uh, it's gonna be so far easier to to understand, you know, the the design. So you will see that we have these shapes over here. You know, let me just hide this, and the form will will help you. I mean, will help you to see uh, where is the direction of light and shadows. All right. I hope this is um, is simple to understand. So try to think always in forms is the most uh, important thing to understand. In that case, uh, the forms also will create planes and planes are things like this. We have this shape, right? This silhouette, uh, by lines. And once you draw even more lines, you will create and recognize that this line will follow a pattern, right? You will, you will see the pattern uh, coming alive. And this line will connect with each element that you, you you see in your drawing. It's like 3D, right? Because later, when you plan to add the shadows, you need to follow the shadows alongside of the curve. Okay? Yeah, this is one of the biggest, uh, you know, thing that you need to understand first of all. And if you want to even improve more your drawing skills, you know, I suggest you to always uh, study anatomy. So anatomy, it is it is one of the best way to improve your drawing skills. Let's say that you are drawing, let's say the circle here, and then I'm drawing an S shape. And this S shape, I can, let's say, bring a sort of emotion to this character. Let's say that the character, I can, you know, create uh, okay, doing something like this with, with a lot of emotions going on over here, you know, see? Yeah, it is a very rough sketch. It's not supposed to be, oh my gosh, you know, it is just the plan. And then, look, we don't have a lot of perspective going on over here. It's just a rough sketch. And this is just gesture, okay? This is gesture. All right. So if you study these two things, which is gestures and anatomy, your drawing will have much better story behind and so on. Okay, this is the, yeah, these things that I'm explaining to you right now, it is the fundamentals to make drawings happening, you know. If you are building your project, you need to give storytelling, emotions, and things like that. Uh, I like to explore always in my designs how, how you can give more life to your design, okay? 
but I don't want to make this lesson complicated about anatomy and either about gestures because it takes time to develop this visual development and instead I want to give you this this small lesson that we're gonna create you know uh, this character from scratch okay and uh, also I was considering to do this as well on a finished photo I don't know how many of you guys use a finished photo over here let me know in the chat I'm gonna create here documents using a finished photo uh, just to explore with you a technique that you can use to build your stuffs I'm gonna create an empty document right now using a finished photo and uh, there is of course difference between a finished photo and designer which photo is not dedicated to vectors this is the first thing and a finished photo it is dedicated for photo <laughs> and things editing stuffs adjustments of layers etc much more than this just is a just resume uh, what I want to do here it is to create a pixel layer and then I'm going to show you examples about that uh, using pixel layer I will just use my brush here this one and right now I will just use here symmetry okay I've activated here symmetry and mirror okay and I'm gonna show you a situation where you can use a finished photo in that case I think it's it's better than a fin designer that point that I'm gonna show you right now let's put that you create you have created I mean add the stabilizer here uh, the slight stabilizer here below let's put that you have created this shape okay the shape here and then a nose eyes and then a shape like this for now okay a quick example then the year etc yeah you did this and then you want to modify you want to change this so let's suppose that you have a situation like using a lookify lookify it is a function that you have on procreate and basically you can you know deform these things you can create different aspect of designs which is very nice very handy so you can deform and create unexpected results uh, there is of course deformations happening over here so think like this is uh, there is a sort of mesh happening here and then you will create deformations okay and let me just decrease the hardness because I wanna make it a bit more soft like this better okay so you you can create you know many types of characters by doing this oh, look I can give even expression to it and this works as well on procreate uh, I'd say easily and you can experiment to deform your design and let's say that you wanna test let me just uh, decrease the opacity of the mesh just oh look <laughs> there are many things that you can do this is the version previously that we did and then there is, is after so look at this how nice it is um, this is my tip let me apply this I will insert a new a new design okay let me create a new pixel layer and grab the paint brush and then we start to create a rondo rondo character right now let's say that I'm gonna do I'm just you know thinking and I suppose that this is a character a crazy character you know give you a hat I like to get a bit more abstract in my designs I suppose that we have this could be a monkey somehow with bird yeah so I don't like to follow rules I like to just oh, I got this result for now and then look uh, using liquify again in this icon here uh, the, the liquify you can experiment to to pinch there are some modes here that you can experiment let's suppose that I want to 
let me hit here uh, there is pinch punch turbulence I'm gonna use the pinch the pinch will 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 increase the size can you see I will use now the punch then I'm gonna let me increase more the the opacity just to see what's gonna ah, it becomes faster can you see you can create deformations over it, uh, over it like that I can push the shapes it is very nice to create cartoons characters so this is a very nice way to you know a look to experiment and create things crazily <laughs> adding some deformations so imagine that if you need to redraw everything from scratch would be so far difficult and then you can compare over here the version before and the version after like this which is very nice very very handy uh, why why I'm showing you this because I like to show you different methods that you can use to make things different right to get out let's say of your standard things that you your brain wants to draw because we usually draw things that we already know and when when you need to draw something different uh, you need to explore different techniques and tools as well so here it was just a quick example about how you can uh, create things from scratch using these techniques I'm using here a finch photo and deforming the shapes simple like that but this time I'm gonna back here so it's better to a finch designer and of course I could create this character you know uh, with you but I want to create a familiar character which is this one and I wanna do this from, from scratch for now I will just use the paint brush uh, uh, first of all activate the paint brush and activate the symmetry symmetry is here there is a, a line in the middle and I will make this in the middle align it here okay um, yeah you guys can oh, let me show you you guys can simply copy this can you see copy let me see here what is copy? a ah, copy here okay and then paste hold and paste let's see here if it's somehow it's not showing I don't know why let's try a cut let's see cut let's see now if it's gonna appear the button here yeah it's not showing somehow I don't know should be a bug and uh, it should appear if you copy an uh, image from there to here but that's case you can take a screenshot and then place over here okay um, I don't know why it's not working probably well continue here okay uh, I'll create a pixel layer using a raster persona on a fin designer my symmetry is activated okay and then guys I'm gonna set up here a color for now and then I will start to ah you need to enable here this option alright don't forget mirror mirror and lock this okay there is mirror and symmetry here on a fin designer but just for raster not for vector and then I will try to uh, prototype the form of the character's head which is something like this let's say that he, he has long uh, neck alongside with big chain so as you guys can see I'm just using a very soft pressure on my hands I don't like to use too, too much pressure soft very soft and then after that I add a bit more pressure just to define even more the lines like this for me it's fine like this okay I got the outline let's call this as outline form outline <laughs> even the even the, the text is being placed as text in symmetry let me deactivate so first stage it is the outline okay outline that's back over here and then I'm gonna add the inner shapes which is oh, the nose I will add like that okay and then I will follow his pattern of his eyes shape and one thing that I like to do for drawing hum human faces it is to think like 
think like there is a a shape like this in every human basically why because this this will create you know his cheek over here but uh, if he has more expression of course his smile will be here so look at this you can simply add uh, think like that let me show you again in a different way let's suppose that you are creating human face you can think like this guys think like this let me deactivate right now this symmetry you have a line right like this so try to think like you have a sort of eight an eight shape think like this somehow I, I start to recognize this sort of pattern and it helps me to recognize um, you know where is the the nose the the eyes and then the mouth so basically you know it's, it's something that I see is not a rule I don't like to give you rule but it's something that you can use for making proportions like the triangle as well you can use triangle to see the proportions and I really like this because you can recognize where is the these areas um, this is a very nice technique because something that you can struggle a lot it is to add the cheek alongside of the mouth and most people will really struggle to add you know these areas here which is very you know di uh, difficult so I try to think like this and getting back on here I hope that it is clear all right for you let me know in the chat there are many ways you know to draw there is not a singular way to do it and here oh, we are just adding his inner shapes by drawing and I wanna make it in my let's say my style I want to to create something more minimalistic I don't want to make you know um, realistic eyes I don't want to do this for now I want to make something in my style that I enjoy more uh, here I will make it the nose a bit more let's say strong and then here in this area it is his expression right add more line more lines and then here remember about the, here this area he's smiling I'm gonna remove this uh, this area here I'm gonna just make his smiling more oh look how nice is this so I know that the chick will be here okay why because I have a line doing this curve which is very nice to understand uh, okay let me see if the live is working ah, it seems to be working let me just switch to the screen in case we are getting some delays and look uh, we got this result so far let's add the ear the ear, ear will follow in the front view it will follow the line of the eyebrows and the mouth and it is always and sometimes always on the middle of it okay Uh, of course, each ear will de depends about the style and also the anatomy of the character. There is there are character that has big ears, <laughs> but that case we're gonna try to follow a little bit the design of this character. Okay, something like this, and then we're gonna follow up here. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> now let's add his hair. I'm gonna just add here outline and then here in the middle because he has you know a shape a triangle shape I'm gonna deactivate symmetry because I don't want to flip this automatically I want to make something like this shape for now okay with my symmetry turned off and then I can back here to the symmetry again because I want to make it this more evident. Can you see that I'm adding more hard lines, more pressure because I want to make it clear enough for me to my eyes. 
when I start, I like to start really slightly, like this. Can you see? Oh, slight. And then, if I decide to make it strong, so make it strong. This is a more defined line. <clears throat> Let's add some expression over his uh, uh, forehead. Okay, very subtle. Let's say that he is forty something, <laughs> forty-five years. Sort of father, no. And let me. Can you see that I did a lot of lines? Why I did this? Because uh, it was something that I was sketching. Then I will clean up this by erasing, and then I'm gonna add a line that it is more clean and more decisive. Decisive, you know, it's more clean. Okay, uh, let's add a bit more line is over here below because I want to add this this line there you go nice and clean drawing isn't it then I uh, I'm gonna just clean up here some lines you can also uh, create a new layer if you wish I usually I don't like to make line art um, personally you know to create a new layer and then redraw because it always looks for me a bit bad <laughs> somehow I'm being very honest with you but you should clean always I'm cleaning just by reason and then I I create a new brush stroke here and then add like this okay so this is stage that we did let me just clean more this area to here and add a bit more expression here inside a bit more sharp, you know, a nose, as he has. Cool. Uh, now it is time to make the the shadows, right? Because we got here a clean outline. So remember, here in this stage that we are doing outline. Then we did the, let's say, inner shapes. Oops, inner shapes. Okay. And then we go to the let's add some shadows because if you add shadows uh, it's gonna be easier to recognize the shapes okay the form so the forms will create more this depth because imagine this is in vector if you do this let's say drag to the vector you you really don't know where to to place the uh, the shadings, you know, where to place the shadows. I'm using the John Concept Art brushes, okay, but you can use the standard brushes by Affinity, which works pretty nice as well. Okay, this is my custom brushes. Okay, uh, and now, guys, I mean, we will just add the shadows. It's gonna be very simple. I promise. I'll create a new layer because it's going to be separately from the layer that is the line art. So let me just uh, type here the name of outline. So outline and I will give a color to this. It's going to be in blue. Blue represents the outline. Okay. Now we're gonna create the shadows. Let me give you the name of this layer. Shadow, shadows, and it's gonna be in, in orange. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use. It's really depend about your purpose. I'm gonna use the brushes that I have here. I'm gonna use this one, and then I will start to make the shadings, and then I will just. Paint here in symmetry. Let me do this first in symmetry. Oh, look, I'm just adding the shadows over the areas that I consider that this scene will have shadows. You can use the reference from <laughs> remember this guy <laughs> that we have. So, if we activate this technique that it's called posterize, you know, this one, 
you will be able to recognize some errors. Let me make this in black and white with color overlay here. Just a second. Color overlay layer effects and I will place this as a color. Just to remove this you no know, color thing. Here, here we go. Uh, when you do this, we will start to recognize where is the shadows, which is very nice. Um, this is a sort of hack that I suggest you to do if you are studying, of course. You can use it always, really. It, what's important it is to have a friendship product. It doesn't matter because there are many ways to bring things in your design. You can use whatever you want, right? Whatever you want, really. Uh, here we go. I will focus to add the shadow. Let me just make this small. Okay, nice. I'm not going to follow this shadow here in this side. I will just do by my own. Now off a grainy. Then look, I will start to add shadows here inside. And remember about the sketch that I, I showed you earlier. I like to add depth in my designs like this. Can you see that I'm just adding around, not in the front. First of all, adding the shadows around the face. Because it, imagine that this is an egg. Imagine that the egg will have you know, shadows over here in this area. Let me just add a bit more shadows over here. And I will add a little bit over here as well. Now look, keeping simple, I will add more to here. You're gonna see what's go what I'm gonna do later. If you follow this, I will add here below of his neck. I'm gonna make it bigger, uh, the brush. And then to make it clean, clean line. Here I will add more strong brush strokes because I want to make it the cast shadow, which is the area that the light is hard to reach. Like here below, can you see it's darker than others part that that has light. And then I will just fill up here with shadows. And when you do this, can you see that I'm brushing stroke many times, multiple times? It's because I want to make more contrast. Can you see? When you add shadows, you start to add more contrast. Okay. And then I will just fill up here more expression. Expressive, you know, shadows. And you can recognize the shadows over here. Can you see? The same shadow that this guy has, we are adding as well. Uh, try to recognize this pattern that we got in all human faces because there are planes over here. There are planes. So once you start to add these planes, you can do basically in vector easily, right? So your vector stage will become so far easier if you bring this alive. Let's continue over here. I'm going to add... Oh, the shadows in this area. I will make this a bit dark because let's put that it is more behind. Okay. There you go. Here as well, just a slight shadows, adding some lines. You will see what I'm gonna do later. So basically, I'm just adding uh, positive and negative spaces. Let me turn off this because I want to be able to fill up this area. Uh, his hair it is you know uh, blonde it is not uh, dark so I will try to make this not too dark can be more gray for this sketch stage all right like this we, we got uh, more gray color because he's you know blonde more lighter uh, hair okay uh, we got this result for now uh, one thing that I wanna show you, it is after you, you know, you create your design, you can start to add the highlights areas, okay? But that case, we are not gonna add too many highlights as you, you are used to do. 
because we are just gonna clean the shadows all right you're gonna see me doing right now how it works it's gonna be easy very easy you have the shadows all right like this remember uh, the shadows so what I like to do let me just type here I'm gonna just write here after you give the form you start to clean up uh, sorry clean the shadows why because after you clean you will give more uh, the reflect light if we see this in a sort of uh, egg shape you need to make sure that in that case we're gonna have a light coming over here it will create this effect let me show you erase a brush I will grab the same brush this one in that case I'm gonna reduce the size of this brush and then I'm gonna just do this oh, look at this let me turn off the symmetry is not turn it on and then I will just add here and erase this area okay oh look I am just erasing and when you do that you start to give more depth to your design oh look even much better uh, form because look at this we have a negative space then the positive and negative and the positive and so on let me reduce and paint here I want to make bring more contour so what I'm gonna do I will bring more shadows over here look more shadows and then use the wrist brush to make the contrast uh, contrast here nice so here as well I'm gonna add a contrast over here look the eyes I will just make this a bit dark then a bit more contrast see I will add more shadows that can be applied over here oh, pay attention to the zones here can you see that we have a light in this area a light okay and then the shadows good let me just back over here I'm gonna paint here and then I'm gonna erase a bit so we're gonna work with erase and shadows oh I'm using shadows here can you see giving this form and painting here then erase just to smooth even more oh look I will make this chick nicer by adding this circle over here oh look how I'm doing circle 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 more shadows over here I can add it here here more shadows over here that's it and then work with your wrist brush to define the planes I'm gonna just add here in the middle I can also if you want my friends look at this you can also use the blend mode to merge the lines with the shadings okay we are doing let's say a more polished uh, rough sketch by using these techniques that I'm showing you I'm gonna use here the smudge brush because you can do this look at this how nice it is I will back here uh, the smudge brush will allow you to ah I, I will do this pay attention right pay attention we have the shadows remember all the shadows which is creating the depth and form which is nice the outline is here oh, outline turn it off and then we got on the the shadows and the shadow it is giving us a form can you see here remember about that we reached this area it's giving us a nice um, area and you can take advantage of this basically to grab some uh, highlights mi missing can you see I can basically erase this a bit more oh look can you see I'm gonna just 
add a bit more shadows here below. Ah, quite simple. It's not supposed to be perfect. And then I'm gonna add more shadows here to give more depth to this air because this is a stylized character and think like that. I'm gonna add more shadows in this area. Okay, nice. Here is here a little bit. There you go. So you start to clean, clean, add shadows and clean. Basically, this is the the process that you can use. Okay good and then now I will do this I'm gonna remember, remember about these two layers the pixel of outline and shadows I'm gonna group this I'm gonna call this as backup backup hit here okay duplicate this backup click here I'm oh, sorry here on the top uh, duplicate it's here let me hide here the backup I will name this as, let's say, rasterize, rasterize, hit OK, and then we're going to merge this, why, rasterize, uh, because now this layer, it is in a single layer, you know, it's in a single layer, you don't need to um, keep it separately for now, and then uh, look at this, I will start to, to smudge this, uh, smudge brush, all right. I'm gonna use the grain brush, and then let me make this strength uh, less. I'm gonna use this brush here, the nose nose brush. Then give it strength. Let me see. It's merge a bit, but I want to make this more strong. Let me try this brush here I have a special brush to make that which is this one smudging I like this one I like this okay can you see I'm smudging and then I can now apply a bit more pressure to it here there you go smudging smudging this is much we will remove basically uh, this line is you know this rough line that we have and there you go I'm gonna erase these lines that it's here below and then smudge again can you see and you can smudge even more over here look here here I really love to smudge things oh look it's clean even more the shadows here okay nice my friend leave the like for enjoying this lesson because I will teach you nice techniques about drawing so you can I will type here later just wait for me to smudge a bit it's creates a very nice visual effect in your drawing for smudging let me apply here. This much will sort of remove these lines, you know. It's gonna merge and blend them together. Uh, let me just add some sort of lines over here in using this brush so I can add some higher lines and use now a raise and this brush just to create some highlights on the hair okay so uh, the secret is that I like to tell you if you want to make this it is to well let me type here so you, you will understand better guys after you create the shadows you need to clean up then because when you clean up the shadows it's gonna be easier much easier to recognize where is the light okay so just to exemplify this uh, let's do here the the cube again or it can be a the sphere let's do a sphere we have the outline or outline okay 
outline yeah uh, this brush doesn't work for very well for writing stuff <laughs> just for drawing uh, here outline then look at this the shadows can be everywhere shadows then erase look at this erase in the where is the light can be here cool isn't it I mean it is like that and then you can smudge to soft even more look what you got here my friend and then you can erase even more further the areas and ah, let me smudge more these outlines oh, let me show you look at this look at this I will show you drawing techniques that it is master master drawing techniques doesn't matter the brush I need to tell you doesn't matter your skills here we go and then erase and add more oh, lights then shadow here is merge here more shadows if you want to add is it in about the material is merge erase you can create another source lights there we go cool it's simple you don't need to oh my gosh take advantage lessons to learn drawing come on no three steps outline fill with the shadows erase and blend i don't know why really why you know people really oh my gosh uh try to learn drawings by you know uh taking advanced and difficult lessons that's why people get frustrated about drawing because drawing is not supposed to be difficult it's supposed to be you know uh you know just you yourself doing your stuffs you know uh i'm sharing you this because i think this can be very helpful to you you know and we are doing this technique the same simple technique here in this sketch okay that's why this is called secrets to draw everything this lesson is called secrets to draw everything i don't know many people uh if you, you lost you know this kind of a lesson that's gonna not be available anymore on youtube you never learn i'm telling you this because i'm teaching you the fastest way to make drawings fastest way okay let's keep doing here my friend oh it's merging let's merge this you can use any brush that you want really then there you go this is not about vector it's about building Oh, I mean just let me back here. I'm just merging the lines, it's merging, it's merging, it's merging to merge them. Clean up the lines. I don't want to have these lines here. Here, here. Ah, I need to. Oh, look, I'm gonna paint this area. There you go, because as I remember, this area is dark. Then here. Here. I'm not using symmetry this time, that's why I'm doing this in each area. Let me bring this more strong. Um, the light is gonna depend about where is the light, alright? There is not a rule. Uh, there are principles. I'm gonna add here. A bit of light coming over here. Then, let me add more shadows in this area. Because I'll always much more over here. Make this brush big. Then I look creating more forms to the character, following his angles and so on. There is more. more. Oops! <laughs> you need to be careful with the tool that you are using to not mess up everything. Hopefully, we are doing with digital art. If you, this is in realistic thing. <laughs> gonna struggle uh, and then I'm gonna just smooth this a bit more there we go nice and clean shadings we could improve yeah of course it takes time not f uh, no just two seconds and uh, as I did shadows here I need to raise more shadows in this area so remember that 
you need to follow you know this sort of pattern of lights and planes I'm trying just to clean up more this area yeah to make soft not too dark you know and neither too light there you go there you go I will decrease a bit the the opacity to show you okay nice and next let me see which time we are now ah good so next week we're gonna do the vector of this character right let's make the vector next week uh tell me the chat if you want to see me doing the vectorize of this character let me know the chat please if you want to see me doing the shadings in vector how would you do that because i think we could finish this and uh, the past two tutorials that we did we did the low poly technique, we did the shading technique, we did the gradient technique, many things that is gonna make you in another level, my friend. Another level, much better than anything. Okay. Uh, so remember about this technique here, which is very nice. Uh, try to think like eight. Okay, and you have the line art of the chick, you know, expression. Uh, this is a nice exercise that I really want to practice even more and I think it would be very nice to bring this character alive just to show you you know a simple way to make this in vector uh, paint tool would be working very nice uh, for this design because it is very clean so if we start to make the low poly technique that you have learned if you if you watch it all the lessons my friend you already know if you don't know it's because you haven't watched my lessons join the club join the vectorized club because you're gonna learn a lot on there all right you're gonna learn a lot i'm sure if you don't learn uh you can uh, <laughs> send me a message i can help you directly uh paint tool here a uh, vector layer and then look at this look one two three just the head let's do just the head uh, four five six seven eight nine ten uh, here 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 boom silhouette done ah let me add the ear over here sorry here the low poly same technique that i'm using on 3d it's being used here there you go and then you start to add what ah the nose here the nose and other shapes the eyes and so on but we're gonna do this next week okay we're gonna do this next week i don't want to do this everything just one lesson i want to give you time to do this drawing okay do this drawing i will send you this photo on the telegram <laughs> the vectorized club right now i'm gonna send you i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial you know as much as i i did and i hope that it is these principles here that I, I taught you, uh, sorry, you know, for this bad, you know, uh, writing skills. <laughs> I hope that uh, I will remember to use this, br uh, this brush here that's better for drawing uh, letters. Okay, uh, just to, you know, make things sure here. Outline, create the outline, which will create the forms in shapes, simple like that. Inner shapes that is is everything that is inside of all the shapes that it is the biggest. Add shadows, add shadows, all right. Then after the shadows, you start to uh, give the forms. Once you recognize the forms, you can clean the shadows to create lights. You don't need to pick up other brushes. No, no. Uh, work in grayscale. Let me type here. Work in grayscale always. Grayscale always. I need, I need to tell you this. Why? Because you need to make the rough sketch in grayscale. <laughs> Let me type here. Grayscale. You can do, you know, in pink scale or blue scale or anything else. Gray scale. Okay? Grayscale. Like we did. Values. Because this is what this will create. Oh, let me just... Make this small here. This will create a better values. Okay, values. It is very important to see what contrast. Uh, contrast. The contrast. It is everything to recognize where are the you no know, shadows and lights. Okay. 
that's it guys uh hope that you guys enjoy let me open here my screen uh, if you have questions let's, let me know in the chat please let me know i hope that you guys uh, enjoy it it is you know very hard not uh, very hard for me but to bring you know lessons about drawing here on the channel because we cover only about vector techniques and i think that vector <laughs> you know only vector it is something that most of you are already you know professional i guess so and i want to bring here everything that will help you a lot even in the future i'm i'm promise you i'm learning a lot i'm studying a lot about 3d and yeah i, I want to be able to in the future to bring some kind of tutorials showing you my workflow uh, let me show you my screen here which is very nice i'm still learning <laughs> let me show you other works that i was doing here i think it was the low poly tree i was i was learning and i was testing you know to make low poly tree yeah i'm still noob here <laughs> but i will learn i promise to myself that i'm gonna learn in the future i will uh, uh, help to help you you know i need to tell you when i was finding for t good tutorials for blender uh you know the way that people teach i didn't feel very you know uh it, it is hard you know to explain everything for blender and it's very confusing so that's why i'm building my own workflow i've uh, let me t just show you here um ah, i've just placed it here my custom hotkeys i'm meanwhile i'm learning i'm building my this is my notes that i do f to learn so every day when I'm learning, I just type here because on every note I can type, oh, okay, it's the way that I learn. It's very in depth. Uh, I have my own methods to learn. And yeah, I have a lot of things to do and to learn. And I'm changing a lot here on my side. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's why I think it's very important to learn uh, shapes and shadows because look, we are just able to see this this form because of the shadows can you see because if it's in flat uh it's gonna be something more like this you know if it's in flat shade flat it's gonna be more like this and so okay my friend that's it this is not a tutorial about blender sorry uh i was just showing you benderize <laughs> it's gonna be called benderize yeah this this will be the name of the channel i don't think that we're gonna create a new channel because it's too much to handle oh my gosh I have I have another channel as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, which is the Vitoris, which is in Portuguese, of course. Vectorize in Portuguese, it is Vitoris. And uh, yeah, I don't know if, if I'm gonna use that case uh, Nomad, but I, I I'm learning Blender first, and then I will learn Nomad. That is it is a iPad app for 3d it's more sculpting than hard surfaces as far as i know i i don't know if they have more hard surfaces modeling i still need to study more to be honest with you but in general i have another channel which is in portuguese i'm trying to help brazilians to get used to affinity because affinity you know not everybody knows here in brazil as well not many people know about affinity and yeah let me show you the channel before I leave you here this one guys ah. this one this is my channel uh, the v Vitoris channel it, it is in Portuguese uh, it's a different identity is yellow not blue compared to my one and yeah here I teach everything as well same principle from not live streaming here uh, yet uh, it's too little there is a uh, 1260 member yeah okay guys that's it for now i want to thank you so much for your time being here all right and yeah you, you guys are amazing and join the club if you are not on there and you can send your designs please uh on the club all right you you're gonna have support and uh, people feedbacks the, the community is amazing okay Guys, thank you so much for your time. See you in the next uh, week. And bye-bye. Take care. See you. Let's close this right now. Whee!